construction technique thing whatever anyhow and uh, we are going to draw a line that's tangent to two circles so first we'll do the easy method and we will go to line and we will click on the little doodad that says tangents from circle to circle and all we have to do is click on the circle Click on another circle and we got ourselves a tangent. So before I go off on a tangent, bad pun, we will go ahead and now do it the hard way, but on the computer, and then we will uh, then we'll go to the actual video showing it the, the real hard way. So I undo those two lines. Okay, what I did earlier, I drew two circles. One of that I shall call biggin and another circle that I shall call little one and I drew two X's uh, and that was where the center of the circle was so that's going to be all our reference points for the rest of this uh, you notice that I didn't give you the dimensions of biggin and little one and of course we could figure that out here on CAD but we're going to pretend that we are doing it completely the hard way and we're not take, even taking measurements Although that would be highly unlikely. Okay. Anyhow. Back to the subject. So we pick a color there. And we will go from center to center. Looks like I'm on intersection. So we're right there. So we have drawn a line from center to center. Okay. Now we are going to have to figure out what the distance is. The difference of Biggin's dot. Biggin's radius minus little one's radius and to do that we're going to need a line it could be any radial line but we're going to decide to do one with a uh, uh, just use a vertical line so we'll draw it from the center and we've got ourselves a radial line here okay and you'll see where I'm going with that so I am going to copy little one and I am going to copy it from the intersection here the center of it and I'm going to put it right on this where the uh, radial line intersects with the outer di outer circumference of Biggin. And we'll keep the original. And let's get rid of the... Uh, man, what am I doing here? Control K. There we go. Uh, I think I might get a new keyboard. I can't read the letters on this one. Anyhow, now we're going to do a two-point line. And we're going to go from center to radius right here. And what we are doing, and let's go ahead and let's add the next circle in there also. So you can see what we're doing. We are going to create a circle that is big one minus little one diameter or radius and so we'll go from this point to this point and that is that circle and what we are actually going to do is we are going to find a tangent from this point to the to this circle here and it's the same thing we've already done uh, and that will get us to where we want to go so First thing we have to do, and I'll pick a different color because it's going to get messy in a hurry. We're going to find the center of this line right here. And we'll go ahead and do it the hard way. So we'll draw a circle. And we'll go from that center point to somewhere greater than halfway. Because I have already messed up that way, at least on one of these videos. And now we're going to copy that circle. So I hit copy. Okay. And we are going. 
going to go from center point to center point or intersection I guess but it's the center point is what we're checking, looking at and I keep the original and I'm going to get rid of the uh, lines and I'm going to have to zoom out just a skosh and now we're going to do our two point line to find the midpoint so we go from here to here and yeah we could have done that with the mid function for the lines but I decided to, let's just go wohog so we now know the middle point of this line right here let's pick a different color let's pick yellow so we are going to draw a circle from that midpoint to the end to either circle so now we have a circle let's turn off the green because we no longer need it and now we are ready to find the tangent or a perpendicular to the tangent so we do a two point line do from center to where this circle intersects that small circle and now I want to extend that all the way out to this big circle so we do an extend oops I hit the wrong line undo undo I'll zoom in just a little bit I think I see why I'm doing the wrong one. Okay, now we got it. Let's zoom back out. Okay, now what we are going to have, the, uh, the tangent will be from, and I have drawn the wrong point here, so let's go ahead and erase one of these. Okay, we could draw our tangent to where this intersects right now, to this one, and then the tangent to our big circle would be simply to offset it and make it up here on the other circle. Or we can copy this line right here because we're going to be drawing a, a uh, man, I forgot the name of the thing, a trapezoid. But... And yeah, we'll do it the second method. So we'll do a copy from here to this center. Keep the original. Do my control K again. And now I have the place where my final tangents will be. It will be at this intersection and this intersection. So we'll go ahead and draw that two point line. our tangent. Okay, let's go ahead and do it for the other side. I'll turn on the uh, green again temporarily. And uh, let's see. don't really need the green, so let's turn it back off. All I need to do is draw a line from here to where it intersects that point right there. So we'll do that. We'll use yellow again. To there. And now we will extend that. Extend all the way out to the outer circle. Now we will copy. copy from the intersection here of all this stuff to this intersection right here. Keep the original, control K, and now we will draw our two point line and have our second one of these. And that 
is the second point. So let's get rid of all this junk. So we get rid of everything except the yellow. And let's go ahead and modify. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and modify this one. Just to temporarily get it out of here. We'll make it green. And you can see we have our same uh, tangents that we had before doing it the easy way with the computer. Uh, that's pretty much it. We will have another kind of tangent to do in a future video. And I will show you that with the uh, easy method because it's a little different calculation and we really don't have time in this video to do them both. So if I do a uh, line tangent to circle, I choose this circle and I choose this circle down here. And uh, now we have the tangents with what would be a cross. And that was useful in the aluminum mill because we'd have what we call turn up rolls and turn down rolls. So this metal needed to wrap a significant number of degrees around the uh, circle. And then here we'd have to get it back up real high in the line. So we'd have to have a, a roll that had one only purpose and that was to turn the metal back up. So we'd have to use this kind of a diagram to draw it. Anyhow. Uh, we will be talking about how to draw that one in the next video. Uh, right now, I'm preparing to go ahead and try to do the uh, manual method. And uh, that will be a lot of fun. We'll have to do everything I just now did, the hard method in CAD. See you on the flip side. Hello, this is Gary Fox, and we're back again. Uh, this time we're going to attempt to do it manually. I'm drawing two circles, uh, the big one and the little one. And the compass is still set at the uh, radius for the little one, as you can see right here. So, we're ready to start right now. First thing we'll do is that we will draw a line between these two uh, center points. Do that right now. And as usual, my lighting leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm trying a different method tonight, but I don't think it's going to get it either. Okay, we are also going to draw a radial line, just like I did before. I'm going to make this one obviously a little bit off from vertical because I can. I don't really need to worry about making it on vertical. So we have that now. We have a radial line. Okay. So first step we got to do is find the center of between the two points. <coughs> <coughs> no, it isn't the first thing I got to do. I just screwed myself. So I got to get back to this radius. And let's see how close I am. It looks like I'm right on the money. I lucked out. So now we will draw an arc up here so we can draw big and minus little one. Okay, now we'll find the center of the uh, the line. Go somewhere we know is bigger than halfway. Draw an arc up here, an arc down here. Go to the other side. An arc up there, an arc down here. And we will find the midpoint. So I'll go between those two intersections. And draw me a tick mark right here. And I have the midpoint. Okay, let's draw that circle. That is big and minus the little one. Get the right end of the compass here. There should be a hole there somewhere. And there it is. I set this right on that other where that 
arc is. This thing has an adjustment on it. By the way, very soon I'll have a page on my website called Tools, and I will have displayed on that a uh, a high quality compass so that you know what one looks like. And so there is our smaller circle. I don't need to draw the whole thing. Okay, now we are going to find a tangent from this smaller circle to that center point. So the way we do that is we draw an arc through the center and that's all we have to do right there. Now I can draw this right here and it's going to be easier to do this this line this time but I'll show you the other one we were doing before. So we'll draw this line right here. That's our tangent between the small circle and that going through that point. The one we drew in the uh, video was done this way. And I can extend it all the way up there to that outer point. So we should end up with our, our final radius going, our final tangent going through that point right there. So now what we have to do is we do our old buddy of making parallel lines. See, we're using all the stuff we've already learned. That's why we learned it, right? And sorry for my head having to get in the way. Let's see if we can do it this way. So I can get my head out of your way. looking like that's right on the line and we have the uh, ruler butted up to it so now we slide up we can get to that tangent point this should also be tangent and it's not so something ain't right here yeah this looks like this is going to be close Close only gets it in horseshoes and hand grenades though, right? And we made it parallel to that line, and so that's tangent to this and this. And it's not exactly on, but it's close enough. Anyhow, you see the procedure. Obviously, if I were doing this for real, I'd be doing it with better lighting than what I have, uh, because I have some really bad reflections here. And the other point is, that I would be a lot more careful on drawing my circles uh, than what I did in this particular case. But we're really close and uh, you can see the procedure anyhow. Appreciate you watching. Uh, well, let's go ahead, let's do the second one. So now we'll do a, uh, another one where we are going Let's see how I do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I continue drawing that circle from the midpoint of the line until it intersects this side of that circle. I then draw my tangent to that, or my line that's perpendicular to the tangent, actually, to that. And that is our cross point to draw this line right here. I need to extend that all the way out. All the way to the circumference of the big one. And now we go to right here. We'll see if we get better this time around. No, I missed completely. Now 
that's much better. Basically my lighting was getting to me again. And now we take that line Do it on this side. Okay, I got everything slid up. We slide it down. And we're still off, but I guess we're not off much. Anyhow, and that did the uh, that did the second half of the belt that was going around this whole thing. Okay, I'm really done this time. Appreciate you watching. This is Gary Fox, Create and Make. Hopefully you got something out of this.